O'Neill in uh, 41 or 42 in Dalhouse, California, and it might have been a few years before that, was working on what he called the family play, which is a long day's journey, having a very, very rough time of it, um, remembering stuff about his father and especially his mother, who became a morphine addict, giving birth to him. If that's not a, a, a definition of a Nobel Prize winner, I don't know what is. <laughs> But, uh, and his brother, who was a disaster, who died roaring, as the Irish say, from alcoholism and self-abuse. It was very painful for him. He writes a letter to his friend in New York, a lawyer, saying, I've had to stop work on the family play. I just have to give myself a break. But I've started on something else, and I'm having a wonderful time. I'm laughing all day long. And that was Iceman coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was O'Neill's idea of a picnic, a literary <laughs> picnic. But the fact is, it is funny. It is funny. Yes. He wanted, he talks about, and, you know, uh, in the, when they did it in 46 and he gave this big press conference, he, you know, talks about experimenting with comedy and it, 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 the play is, you know, meant to be funny. And, I mean, darkly funny at times, but sometimes just genuinely funny. I mean, the characters are... When we opened in Dublin, we were used to, uh, we did, had done it in Chicago, and uh, been well received. And um, we were used to the lights coming up on this saloon, uh, which actually existed on the lower, lower west side. These alcoholics, terrible down, uh, the, the worst dregs of alcohol, sprawled all over these tables. Lights come up on this old bar with all this human detritus and stunned silence in Chicago. In Dublin, they roared with laughter. <laughs> and I mean, it was like seeing uh, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey, what's his name? Who were we talking about the other day, trashing? Mickey Rooney? Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Doing a dance, you know, because oh, they were sorry, just roaring that. with laughter. <laughs> and then when the laughter died, we could start the play. But, uh, so it all depends upon perspective. It was very funny uh, opening. Well, I mean, he loved these guys. He loved these people. And most of them were based on real, real, uh, real, real men and, and women that he knew. Uh, like, like your character, Larry Slade, was based on a very close friend, Terry Carlin. And Tom Wallace ba was, you know, was the guy that Harry Hope is based on. It was, all took place, uh, it was these two places that he lived, Jimmy the Priest's, and a, a, a place called the Golden Swan, in Golden which Swan. the back room was called the Hell, Hell Hole. Hole. Yeah. And, uh, and he spent, you know, these, this is when he attempted suicide in his 20s. And, and these guys, the one character, Jimmy Tomorrow, uh, uh, saved his life. He had taken, what, uh, what, what do they call them, Veronol tablets? It right. sounds like something from a Betty Davis film. <laughs> She's taken the Veronol tablets. <laughs> we can't revive her. <clears throat> um, but uh, he had taken an overdose of Veronal tablets, and, uh, and this, this Scottish reporter, uh, who was called Jimmy Tomorrow in the play, uh, saved his life. And then a week later, he committed suicide. He jumped out of, of a window, he, which is, uh, caused him to write. He wrote a one-act play about it, Exorcism. He wrote a short story about it, about this character, and then uh, included him in the, in the Iceman Cometh. But he loved these guys very much. And, uh, I mean, the only one that wasn't really based on one real person was, was Hickey. It was um, a, sort of a composite of several salesmen that he had met. Uh, Barbara Gelb says one, there was one in particular called Happy, <laughs> a, a linen salesman <clears throat> who was an alcoholic and who would buy a lot of drinks. Happy. <laughs> Which is interesting since the word happy appears a lot at the end of every act. The word happy is invoked. Not as often as pipe dreams. Not as often as pipe dreams. <laughs> I know.